Today, guys, you're gonna try some Brazilian tapioca wraps. Stunning. Delighted. That's tapioca with me. When you say tapioca, I only. <laughs> I'm not gonna even acknowledge it. Uh, Colin's enjoying it. <laughs> Brazilian style? I'm not even going to try. You, you did You did okay. Thank I you. mean, you didn't actually rap. You no, just no, no. did like I was some... providing you the beat. Oh, you were doing the beatboxing. I was supposed to drop yeah, the yeah, sick yeah, rhymes. Yeah. I remember watching some movie with Renee Zellweger and she like worked for a big tapioca company. <laughs> she worked for one of those big... For, for big tapioca. Those big <laughs> this evil corporation that deals exclusively in tapioca. tapioca. I've had Brazilian bits. I've eaten oh. chicken hearts. And I was told that's Brazilian. Chicken hurts. And they're lovely. Oh. Would highly recommend. Okay. I hope you have some today. Oh, oh God, I'm so excited. Geez. Nervous, but excited. Oh. oh. oh it's like a quesadilla. Oh, as I used to call them, quesadillas. Sorry, uh, what did you? Just... Quesadilla. <laughs> okay, a third time lucky, well done. Fish? Fish? Tuna? Fish? Tuna? So, so this is called a chicken delight. <laughs> Fish? Chicken, chicken delight. delight. And oh. let me say, it does look delightful. This is an interesting um, like crust on it. It almost looks like polenta or something. Um, I'm excited. I'm curious about the texture of this. She's falling apart. Ah. Okay. Oh, she oh, wasn't, she oh, wasn't ready. Oh, oh. Mmm. Mm. Okay, I'm interested. Mm. Okay. Mm. The wrap itself is very distinct. Mm. Yeah, crunchy. Mm -hmm. Slaps. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Look at this. It's a bean. Yeah. It's a bean. They love their beans in Brazilian cuisine. If you've ever gotten the, the burrito kits from like Old El Paso mm. and they have the, the tortillas, it's kind of like those if you let them go stale a little bit, but not in a bad way. It's just more consistency rather than flavor. Yeah. It I doesn't agree. taste stale. It's more, this is more kind of crunchy. Mm. It's 1 a.m. You have like the hankering. I feel like you can make this. If it's 1 a.m., do you think I'm making anything? Other than farts. When you, <laughs> this mm. tastes like it's deep fried. Maybe like maybe it's not, but it just tastes like it's deep fried. Like the crisp of it is so prominent. The wrap is so interesting. Like I've never had something like this before in my life. It's very nice. I kind of wish I had something to dip it in, which I'm sure mm. is sacrilege to yeah. Brazilian people watching. Yeah, I mean it's not. It doesn't feel so far off pizza, in a way. Uh, yeah, I kind of get that. It's kind of meh. <laughs> but I sometimes I just really want something really salty, and this honestly ticks that box so mm -hmm. much. What's great is like. The wrap is purely a delivery mechanism mm -hmm. for the cheese mm -hmm. and the meat. Mm -hmm. It's not interrupting the party. This is a grab and go eat with your hands. The knife and the fork is probably very queeny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just imagining you going up to street vendors with a plate and a knife and a fork. <laughs> yes, like, thank you, thank you, good sir. Who's ready for a shiitake? Oh. Speaking of which, it does look like somebody just took a shit inside it. Mushrooms. I see mu yeah. mushroom, mushroom. Mushroom. What badger, is it? Badger, 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 badger. Yeah. <laughs> this is uh, oh, it's very falling apart here. I can't believe you're not giving this a hand job. Like for fuck's sake, just fucking get in there. I'm probably being unfair. I think I'm coming around on mushrooms, but just when I see a lot of mushrooms, I'm like, Ugh. Oh, no, there's not mushroom for them in my diet. There's not. It smells like garlic just there, but then I'm like, that could just be in the avocado. Go for it. I was, I was going for it. I was like, sorry, ah. sorry. Oh, no, no, Cheers. that was me. I was jumping ahead. Well, shit. Mm -hmm. I guess we're going to Brazil. Mm -hmm. Kind of slimy. Yeah, also chewy. A little bit chewy. It's more mush for me. It's better than the last one. I like the last one. It I, 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 it's better than, I like this one better than the last one. It tastes a bit more like the earth. That is unreal. That's better than chicken. Textural nightmare. <laughs> But it's not bad. There was a time in my life when I didn't like mushrooms. I hated them as a kid, and now I'm like, yeah. put them in everything. I call that time my, my dumb period. What is happening? These shiitake mushrooms are phenomenal. Mm -hmm. They are the shiitake. Shiitake mushrooms, plant-based mozzarella cheese, and smashed avocado. And would the tapioca wrap itself be vegan? I guess it is. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine they forgot that part yeah. of it. <laughs> Somebody I know was cooking dinner and they were like to a vegan, now I didn't put any cream on your salmon so you, it's okay for you to have it. <laughs> I'm all for the smashed avo. If anyone, everyone who knows me says, where's Dermot? Probably off getting some smashed avo. Anyway, the mushrooms are really nice. What the fuck? <laughs> that plant-based mozzarella. mozzarella is phenomenal. I would never say that do. about, yeah, yeah like plant-based cheese in general. I'm like, no, I don't, I don't see what yeah. you're doing here. I don't yeah, like yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. But this, is actually phenomenal. I'm intrigued by it. The, the flavors are nice. There's some sort of little mental block that's stopping me from going all in on it. Yeah. 
Well, I guess uh, that's the end of my food. Yum, yum, yum. Wow. <laughs> that's how you finish your food, isn't it? Mm-hmm. You know the there's floor. no dog down there. We don't have a tri dog. Although, hear me out. A tri dog. A tri dog would be great. Ooh. I like that they look like backwards pizza. They do, don't they? They look, they look like pizza. They look like it's an all crust pizza. Yeah. Ooh. Pork. Is the pork? It looks porky. Beefy. 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 Um, I would say like the the look of this is not appealing, mm. but I the smell of it is great. <laughs> Corn beef tapioca wrap. Corn beef. Oh, just like we have here in Ireland. Corn oh. beef. Corned beef. Uh, okay. Okay. Well, you know what? Honestly, that's what it smells like. It looks like something that has great. been through a person, one way or another. I feel. Sorry, I, I, I was about to ask the exact same question, but I, but I, but I fucking, you know, it's, who, who, I'm not behind the camera. You're going to keep all this, but we're going to redo this, so you ask the question again. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Go for it. Like so do you like corned beef? Oh, Shit, sorry. <laughs> I, I, I got mixed up. I got mixed up. But there's cheese in here, and there's cream cheese. I can see it. Mm. Shut the front door. That's so good. Mm-hmm. Fucking hell. 18 hours slow cooked corned beef, mozzarella cheese, and cream cheese. Mozzarella, the plainness of the cheese. Mozzarella cheese and cream cheese. Mm. A little dry, probably could have done it with maybe 16 less hours. This is the chewiest one so far. It is, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Oh. But I like it. Different fra- flavor profile. Yeah. I hear the mozzarella and the cream cheese. I don't feel it. I don't feel it in my mouth. Mm. I don't feel it in my, my soul. Heart. Interestingly enough, I think I prefer the shiitake wrap just because of the flavors in the shiitake one, but this is a yeah. good beef wrap. Like you get a lot of the meatiness, there's cheese, there's yeah. cream cheese. What's not to love? I have some sort of nice melted cheese dip. Oh. More cheese. More cheese. I want like, so you but want, like. You want cheese, cream cheese, and then a cheese dip. But I want cheese that like I feel in my sinuses. Actually, do you know what? I think if you took the corned beef out of this one and put it into the last one, with like the guac and stuff. Hmm. I would say that wouldn't be bad. It wouldn't balance it out. This, yeah. this lands in the middle of the other two. It has the benefit of not being vegan. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of all that has going for it. Imagine like you're in Brazil. It's 32 degrees, you come around the street corner, you get the smell of this coming out and you grab that and you go walk away, walking down the street, eating yeah. this. Lovely. Oh. Amazing. Lovely, yeah. Oh, it's, oh, wait, is that, wait, is that cabbage? This is like a caprese salad <laughs> in a wrap form. This is a jackfruit tapioca wrap. Oh, what? Oh my god, I could have sworn that was chicken when you put that down in front of me. That's crazy. Interesting. So this is another one for the vegans. I'm sorry, a what now? Have you never had a jackfruit? What the hell is a jackfruit? It's a fruit that tastes like chicken. It's amazing. It's a chicken or beef. What tastes like meat. What are we talking about here? <laughs> I have a tin in my press at home of young jackfruit. That'd be such a great, like, rap name. Hey, young jackfruit. I'm young jackfruit. <laughs> raps, <laughs> the raps, That's rapping, nice. rapping young jackfruit. jackfruit. Um, it felt like we were building up to a rap there and we're like, we it don't know where gonna, to fucking no, take this. It's not gonna happen. We can't land this plane. Mm, it's kind of smoky. Mm. Yeah, you ready? Yes. Chicken. No. Nah. Very little jackfruit in this jackfruit wrap. <laughs> I think the distribution of it could be a little bit better. It's blowing my mind. Mm. I don't understand it. You know when you eat cake that looks like something else? Mm. Here, look, it's an apple. Well, it's cake. And you're like, that fucks up my head. Except the cake tastes like chicken. You're telling me that's fruit? Yeah, it's unreal. I am. Are you vegan now? I am. Utterly baffled. <laughs> I'm getting a lot of umami off this. Mm-hmm. All the cheese, the kind of smoky jackfruit. Maybe jackfruits are animals. Science thinks that they're actually fruits, but they're actually like, no, don't harvest me. <laughs> I have feelings. <laughs> I'm yeah. sentient. That's chicken. That's jackfruit. No, it is chicken. I know, but it's jackfruit. That's no, it isn't. It's chicken. No, but if you look, it's actually jackfruit. No, but it's, like I'm seeing it in my eyes. I'm crazy in my mouth. That's chicken. I feel like it's I'm good tripping stuff, isn't it? balls here, okay? It's good, isn't it? But I can't see myself getting into jackfruit. After this? Mm. I want to explore it more. This channel has changed your, changed your life in many ways. I'm eating fruit Introduce now. You to ch- <laughs> I think I've changed as a person. Yeah. No, this is, this is phenomenal. It tastes like chicken. <laughs> like, yeah. It literally tastes like chicken. Yeah. It's crazy. It's mm-hmm. blowing my mind. Interesting. Yes. Uh, Love the idea. Versatile. I'm sure it can be used on lots of different things. Yeah. The execution left a little bit to be desired. Life changing. Yeah. Literally life changing stuff. Yeah. I That was so freaking nice. Never had anything like a tapioca wrap before. The flavor combinations were so on point. I know this was about tapioca mm-hmm. pudding or whatever the hell we have. But, like, but really, uh, the only takeaway from this is that there is a fruit that tastes and looks like chicken. The food was great. I enjoyed all of it. So I, I know you want me to talk about the tapioca. 
But if you want me to talk about tapioca, don't give me fruit that tastes like chicken. Let me blow your mind for just a second. Did you know that there's a fruit that looks and tastes like a chicken? And on that note, uh, make sure to come back every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Hit the subscribe button and ring that bell so you never miss a notification from us. Now, I haven't seen the actual fruit itself, but is the fruit itself shaped like a chicken?